Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rukishi, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Xenoverse. Last time, I faced off against two of Team Geist's members, and I completed a Pokemon Den, and it gave me an item that I already had uh, two of, because the Hunters dropped them. Now, you might be wondering, why the hell am I outside here in Sunflower Canyon? Well, I discovered something. I missed a very important TM, and I am in desperate need of it. Okay. So these are the three idiots. Alright. Nope. Shut up, this canyon belongs to me and my gang. Clear? Ha ha ha, look at them. And who's been defending this canyon from dangerous Pokemon? You bikers? You natives? No, we cowboys! This territory is ours! And what do you want? Don't tell me you're here to snatch my canyon out of my hands. You beat me to the punch! Maybe she's just lost, Sandman. What? You want us to work together? Are you trying to preach to me? Huh? You need a lesson, kid. Thou should have kept thy distance from issues thou can't understand, foreigner. We all agree for once. Let's get rid of this nosy little brat. Triple battle? Oh my god, it is. Oh, no, never mind. We have teamed up. Really? Huh, <laughs> you're a fluke, pipsqueak. I gotta say, I've enjoyed fighting side by side, you know? Okay, instead of competing for this whole canyon, let's just split up, nah? That's a really good idea. Each of us would get his cut. We could even help each other in dangerous situations. Please, forgive me if I was rough out on thou there. Thou only wanted to mend our fences and thou did it. Please accept this as a sign of my gratitude. TM26, which is Earthquake. Yeah, yeah, out of my way now. We gotta get down to business. They're peacefully arranging the division of territory. <laughs> All right, and with that, I'll see you guys back at the saloon. Hey, this place looks familiar. Let's start from here. Uh... Oh, every day the little one came to the saloon loon, where it had an assured meal. Finally, I had found a new friend. But then, one night, a gang of outlaws alongside three hound doom broke into the inn, raiding all my and my customers' money. Bustar has never been the city of trainers, so I didn't know who to ask for help, especially to protect at all costs that Pokemon. Among the people, a newborn infant broke down in tears, and one of the hound doom, sick of that whining, attacked her. Jesus! I didn't want to witness such a brutal scene, so I shut my eyes. Once I opened them again, I saw the dark Pokemon groaning on the floor. Oh, It was my friend. That kind-hearted Pokemon stood up for the saloon and that baby. The three outlaws or ordered their Houndoom, a combined attack right away, but the small shadow threw them away in the blink of an eye. Man. And I so and so I tried to reassure the customers, telling them what really happened. It was such a relief telling someone about that Pokemon strongly attached to the saloon. But the outcome was not like I was expecting at all. The clientele, just by the idea that a ghost has been there for all that time, got terrified and fled. I tried explaining that creature was inoffensive, but I couldn't talk them out. Even my friend, saddened about the whole story, hid into its own shadow. Aww. Since then, the saloon income crashed, and no one came by anymore. This memory of mine now is nothing more than a nightmare that haunts my sleep. No more songs, no more dances, nor drinks. Everything is so sad and quiet here. Not even it came back. Now it's only me and my worst enemy. The loneliness. Jesus. Looks like the third page. Next special attack. Eh, not that great. Hmm. Okay. So I'm willing to bet that he has Bulbasaur. Slash, um... Ivysaur. So... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lead with Rex Graham. Tauros, huh? Oh, there you are! Do you want to play hide-and-seek with me? Ah, eh, crap. Peekaboo! Eh, eh, eh! Peekaboo! Peekaboo! You know, I've always been a scaredy cat ever since I was a little kid. To help me overcome my fears, Dad used to bring me into uh, hov hovels like this one. I think that's supposed to be hotels. Just standing by his side vanquished all the uneasiness I could feel. Do you see this mechanical Tauros? 
Yes. Every time I came here, Dad put me aboard it to make me forget about my fear for ghost-type Pokemon. Every time I think about th those days, I see why I decided to follow in Daddy's footsteps. But now Dad's gone. He left me alone, and I'm still a coward. Alice, possessing the body of this kid was actually pretty easy. M mostly because when he saw me, he started crying his heart out. Wee hee hee! It may not be that blondy, but with this body, I feel like a real human. I could get used to this quickly. When I'll get rid of you, I'll be able to leave this wretched place and blend into your society without suspicion. Alright, here we go. No. Alright, starting off with a Kadoon, huh? Well, too bad for you, my Rexquiem has a Rock-type move. What does that do? The user slams into the target using a full force blast of water. It may also lower the target's defense. Hmm. I like having a priority move, though. It's more power, though. I'll give it a Phantom Force. Another Kadoon, huh? So, do you not have an Ivysaur, then? Someone's gotta have an Ivysaur. Nope, there it is. But it's a Bulbasaur. Barbar! Barbasaur! Oop, wrong move. There we go. Wee hee hee! You managed to defeat me, but I'll leave this place with this body. N no! Wistrak, this is my body! Go away! Wee hee hee! Are you trying to oppose me, coward? No one ever managed to get out of my control. Y you can't understand. I may be a coward and a worthless Pokemon trainer, but if you thought you could bring me down with your words, you've made a sore mistake. I'm not alone anymore. Sis, Buster, Chrysler, Salem, and Alice too. They're my family. Thanks to them, I'll find the strength to overcome my fears. Err, damn it! My control is slipping. Dad taught me that harnessing the weaknesses of the souls of fragile people is wrong, but now the sadness you were leeching on has become my will to fight. My gushed soul is burning bright. You have nothing to grab onto anymore. Wrist direct, get out of my body. It's all over, now. Thank you, Alice. Th thank you so much. Please, save my sis, and defeat that monster. Well, he's exhausted. Better let him rest. Alright, it's time for the final one. Actually, wait, am I healed? Me. August. Not even a single customer in months. I was on the rooftop when I heard a roar coming from the main hall. I immediately ran there. I shouldn't have. Those gangsters came back with reinforcements, but this time, there was a known face. The mayor! Gunther, a corrupt politician of Eldra's underworld, the man behind the tur tourist crisis of Wester City. Why was he there? He made it clear immediately. He had come to take his revenge for what happened a few months earlier and catch the Pokemon of the saloon. He was done talking, and one of the outlaws was... Uh, Scarfazma attacked me, while the other Pokemon started destroying what remained of my inn. Slash hit me hard, but my physical pain was nothing compared to my inner wound. Everything I built, every happy memory, everything went up in smoke. I was about to pass out when all the Pokemon were thrown away by a powerful attack. It could only... It could be only it. My friend! Gunther ordered his minions to attack the little Pokemon that, beside it, besides its small size, was really powerful. It came back to protect me as it did with that child months ago. The mayor, out of henchmen, ran away, and the little Pokemon fell on the floor exhausted. I owed so much to that Pokemon, so I took care of it for days, until I got its health back. Meanwhile, the whole city, hypnotized by the mayor's claptrap, started hunting the Pokemon at that committed the crime of hurting that liar of Gunther. I had no choice. The little one and I had to leave Westar City. Waking up from its coma, it, it came closer to me, and a thick black tear, tear crossed its face. I don't know if it was sadness or happiness to see me in me the good old days, 
All I know is that I witnessed the creation of an unforgettable memory of our bond. After that, the Pokémon vanished before my eyes. My friend didn't want me to leave everything I had created, and so it was. I'm old now, and death will soon come and, and visit me. So, please, I ask those of you who will read these words to respect my only remaining wish. Keep the bottle of the Black Tear safe. I've kept it hidden in the basement. It represents the soul of a Pokémon that did everything to protect me in my beloved city. Goodbye. Shampoo. Maybe it's the final of the saloon owner's diary. Black Tear? Hmm. Spooky plight. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fight this son of a bitch. Hi. Very well, Alice. I've been waiting for you. You've managed to humiliate me, but now it's time for my revenge. Surprised? As you can see, I can simultaneously control these bodies since they share a deep bond. I think I may have hit the jackpot with this girl. She's smart like the Tubbo, capable like the Blondie, and finally she's so full of spirit like that twerp. Enter the line, cowgirl. Wisteract, the queen of the saloon, is going to make you pay dearly. Alright, it's time for the final showdown. You are challenged by Geist Minta. And she only has one Pokemon. Buster. There's no way I could have lost while controlling two bodies! Damn kid, I'll take control of you once and for all. Not so fast, Amiga. Yeah, tell it, Salem. Oh, he has a ponytail. Huh. You'll have to deal with us first. We won't let you take Alice that easily. What do you think you can do? I've already shot all of you once, and I can do it again whenever I want. You're right, Ristorak. You've already defeated us, defeated us once, but we were alone back then. This time is different. We are gonna fight you. Together. My energy is disappearing? Come on, guys. Let's put her back into it for Sis and Buster. Curse you, humans! Oh my god. Sis, how do you feel? Oh, chicos, you're all okay. What happened? You let that Worcester uh, take control of your body, like an amateur. Luckily for you, I, Chrysler, Will, and Alice beat the living soul out of that buffoon. What did you call me, Salem? I'll dare you say that one more time. You're right, though. That Pokemon got me without breaking a sweat. <laughs> it's the first time one of my jokes made you laugh, Minta. Finally falling for me? Shut up, show off. Gee, no need to get work so. <laughs> Gee, no need to get so worked up. Don't push it, Salem, please. Alice, thank you for your help, really. Guys, that seems to be Mr. X's real form. Well, then let's get rid of it right away. It's better, Salem. I have an idea. We've drained Mr. of almost all its energies, so it's no longer a threat. Alice, as a trainer, it's your choice to defeat or catch this Pokemon. <laughs> Fair enough. We're going then. Alice, remember to stop by the firehouse when you're done here. A promise is a promise, and we'll never forget what you did for us. Hasta fuego. West. Whister Act. Hell yeah. But um. Wisteract, the guardian Pokemon, Ghost Fairy. Wisteract haunts abandoned mansions, jealously guarding everything inside. It's said to be very vengeful towards raiders. Mmm. You found a dread pendant. An ominous item coming from the Wild Bull Saloon. It is loved by two certain Pokemon. Yep. Aw, oh, can't read it. Damn. Alright. With the threat of the or with the threat of Wister Act now gone. It's time to head to the Geist headquarters to see what's up. And after that, who knows what else? I'll see you guys then.